Right, we're well prepared tonight anyway. Prevalent. So now, where's the list? Don't look at me, sure now. I thought you did it. You might not. <laughs> anyway, we'll start with the uh, first request of the evening. We've been asked to sing Bull Giant, so we'll, uh, we'll sing it now. So it's a good one to start with anyway. We'll sing it again later. We did this, we'll uh, later. We did this at uh, Gervin last week. Hey, what are we doing now? It's funny how you it just coincided with somebody there so that you could tell them all about it. Isn't that strange? I've never felt I've never felt such a fellow in my life. <laughs> but we can confirm that he was one. No, no. Um, no, one I said never felt such a fellow in my life. I actually shook hands with Ali Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
How will fight the next election and lay all his policies bare. And in the all-night sessions he was such a lively chap. And the anagram of Cecil Parkinson is rocking set on lap. Yeah, well, mm, well, third month being over, this last grew sick and pale. So did Cecil Parkinson when she told him his tale. She said, will you marry me? And he said, yes, of course. She didn't know that telling fibs was one of Parkinson's laws. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, seventh month being over and the eighth month coming on, it's to the Times newspaper that this poor young maid has gone, saying he has gone back on his word lest his career and marriage fail. I'm not one to be vindictive, but I want that bastard nailed. Yeah. Well, now the session being over, the party conference coming on. There's lots of juicy scandal about Cecil Parkinson. And Maggie, she got angry and gave him lots of lip. Saying you're a silly bugger for getting caught, I'll take away your party whip. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> now she has gone back to bar, some rest and quiet to seek with a bouncing baby and bouncing checks for 80 quid a week. <laughs> the moral of the story will come as no surprise. Don't you go putting your trust in a politician's lies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's season. At the wagon it's winter all year. <laughs> but now the folk club is buggered. Next week there'll be nobody here. No more than plush seats full of mildew that give you a crick in your back. I don't think I'll miss seats at the wagon, but perhaps I might miss Jolly Jack. All heart. Took me a long time to work out such a rhyme with that. What do you mean, perhaps? What's all this perhaps? Well, you haven't heard verse 5 yet. The beer they ship in from Warrington, that's an anagram of rot warning. It's the sort of beer you can't forget, especially on Monday morning. Now, the landlord, he was a good un when he remembered to open the pub. <laughs> well, I'll not miss the beer or the landlord, but happen we'll miss the folk club. Oh, <laughs> it's getting worse, go for Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Well, let's have a word for them stalwarts. Yes, the people that take money at the door. There's Jean and Ron. They like both had babies. That's a dangerous seat, to be sure. <laughs> now, I once won the raffle. Well, only once, and they gave me a great can of Watney's. I don't think I'll miss the raffle at Wagon any more than frontal lobotomies. It's been a long time, actually. What week were they on? Not flying pickets, you know. I've seen them frontal lobotomies. The sheep ran out on the road halfway up the hill, you see, and I had time to think of that one. Otherwise, I'd have been bugging on that place. <laughs> Not in this game, no. I mean, well, it's... Right. First of all, it's the most moving song, isn't it? <laughs> well, let's have a word for the singers, like the legendary Alex McClure. Oh, it's going to be a bad person. <laughs> With all them Scotch verses, he's the only singer that you need subtitles for. <laughs> then there's always Russ Clegg, who sings songs that Sue doesn't like. Then she forgets that he's at the back all the way round. <laughs> oh, nah. Well, I think I'll miss singers at the wagon as much as I'll miss Jolly Jack. And you can take that either way you want. Yeah. <laughs> that was a very moving tribute to all the singers. <laughs> I didn't mention anybody else because I couldn't get anything to rhyme with uh, anybody else. There's only been two singers here the last few weeks. So <laughs> <laughs> it's quite lovely, really. Do you want the window open? <laughs> Five verse song I've ever sung. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, this is the last.
just moving, moving first. I mean, it's most sincerely. No. Now, what can you say about our heroes without keeping your face straight? <laughs> Keep a straight face, actually, I should mean, but never mind. Straight face. They've been coming here for nearly five years and putting some life in the place. <laughs> yeah. There's Jet Setting Owl and Dave Weather Owl. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, no, no, come on, it's getting near the top of the hill there. And Martin, with whom you don't trifle. I don't think I would have missed Jolly Jack. If I had decent sights on me rifle, <laughs> I wish one last song for the wagon. Well, it may not have been something. Uh, oh, well, sorry, that's the end of the song anyway. <laughs> Most of our singers are regulars. In fact, all our singers are regulars. Well, they tell me, I mean, it's the breakfast cereal they eat. And nobody's more regular than Roger, he says. So, would you welcome, please? Lady, take your time about drinking. Lady, take your time about me. Need you to make a wrong decision just to be free. As the days can be so lonely and the nights can be so long, we can see it all together. Oh, we can see it all together <clears throat> keep each other warm. Well, I know who you want to travel. You want to fly as free as a bird. Well, let's fly along together. See the world. Cause the days can be so lonely And the nights can be so long We can see it all together Keep each other warm We can see it all together Keep each other warm Every lady Every lover needs a friend, so let's circle round each other, round again. Cause the days can be so lonely, and the nights can be so long, we can see it all together, and keep each other can see it all together, keep each other warm. Lady, take your time about drinking. Lady, take your time about me. I'd hate you to make the wrong decision just to be free. Cause the days can be so lonely And the nights can be so long We can see it all together Keep each other warm We can see it all together Keep each other warm
I lay a dreaming, I was batting up at large. Guess who this is for? <laughs> <laughs> and my century was growing fast and furious on the boards. The captain of my school I was, as proud as proud could be, and all the school and half the world were sitting round to see. The king and queen and all their pomp had come to see me play, and folk were gathered round the ground from near and far away, from Timbuktu and Canada, from Skibbereen and Skye, and Bain and Powell and Bobs were there and WG and Fry. They tried their bowlers one by one. I carted them about. I drove them all along the ground. I sent them whizzing out. I smote their lightning and their locks, their bowlers fast and slow, till members in the pub were scared and had to go below. <laughs> they tried their bowlers one by one, their googly man and all. <laughs> <laughs> There's a G in that there, Googling man. <laughs> and one by one they took them off. I went for every ball. <laughs> <laughs> and when I hit a splendid six right into London town, the king stood up a cheering me and waved his golden crown. Mm. Last night I lay a dreaming. I was batting up at Lord. And just as my two hundred runs appeared upon the boards, with all the school and half the world a shouting out hooray, I woke to think about the duck I made but yesterday. <laughs> Sportsmen arouse, the morning is clear, the larks are singing all in the air. <clears throat> Sportsmen arouse, the morning is clear, the larks are singing all in the air. She flies, then up she springs, through break she flies. Follow, follow the music of her, sing follow up forward the innocent air. Our huntsman blows his joyful sound, tell me how many boys all over the Joyful sound, tally all me boys all over the town. From the woods to the valleys, see how she flees. From the woods to the valleys, see how she flees. Follow, follow the musical horn, sing follow. for breath, our huntsman, he cries out for death. All along the green turf, she pants for breath, our huntsman, he cries out for death. Rillo, perillo, retiring hair, Rillo, perillo, retiring Noble run, 
I've always had an instrument. Have you? Oh, yeah. Can I tell oh, you when I've one later? Isn't it, Father? Well, the first on deck was the captain of the ship. A fine young captain was he. His form and song we've all gone wrong, and we sail on that lonesome sea. And the stormy winds that blow, and the raging seas that roar. A fine young lady was she. She's fond of song we've all done wrong, and we've sailed on that lonesome sea. And the stormy winds let them blow, and the raging seas let them roar. While these wild sailors all the running up the ropes, and the landlord has run down below. A fine young doctor was he. He saw all his patients in their beds so low. They would sink to the bottom of the sea. And the stormy winds let them go. And the raging seas let them roar. While these four sailors all are running up the ropes. And the landlord are crying down below. A wicked old cuss was he. He said he didn't give a damn if the boat would never land. Let us sink to the bottom of the sea, of the sea. And the stormy winds let him blow, let him blow. And the raging seas let him roar. While these wild sailors all are running up the ropes, and the landlord are crying down below. People came and uh, we uh, started to build up because people heard about the club, we didn't advertise it and suddenly a young man turned up one night and we never met him before and he's been, uh, he's been a stalwart of the club ever since. Um, but never mind, we, uh, we managed in spite of that. We've insulted him and we've kicked him and pushed him about. But, uh, he keeps it. coming. <laughs> And I'd like to, he's even pitching our bloody beer. I'd like to ask Alec McClory to come. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> the road to Dundee, I've got to tell him because it's not off the bridge. 
Can you say don't be? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, we can now. We've been. He's on the Eurovision Song Contest. He contest oh, yeah. Yeah. No, for these languages, he's got a natural talent for it. Yeah. I didn't even think much of the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't think much of you either. That's why I didn't stay. <laughs> when Tar was howling for moor and door mountain. And wild was the search on the dark road and sea, when just about daybreak I met a wee lassie who asked me the road and the miles to Dundee. Said I, my wee lassie, I can a wee. The road nor the distance I can a will be, but gin you'll permit me to gan a wee bit, I'll show ye the road and the miles to Dundee. At once she consented. And did me her earn, no award did I spear for the lassie might be. She appeared like an angel in feature and form. As she walked by my side on the road to Dundee. At length, where the house was, Strath Merton behind us, the spire so the tune in full view we could see. She said, gentle sir, I can never forget ye, for shown me safe far on the road to Dundee. This ring and this purse to prove I am grateful, and some simple token I trust you'll give me, that in times to come ye will always remember the lassie ye showed on the road to Dundee. I took the gallant pin Frae the scarf I was wearing And said, Tack ye this In remembrance o me Then bravely I kissed The sweet lips o that lassie And sadly we parted on the road to Dundee. So here's to that lassie, I'll never can forget her, and ilk a young laddie was listening to me. Oh, now 